What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode on the Lawn Lover channel. Today we're out in the yard and we're going to be talking about soil pH and its importance to the overall health of your turf. So stay tuned. I encourage you up front here to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. The channel's growing. I want to tell everyone that subscribed so far, thank you so much for your support. I'm glad to help you, give you tips so we can learn from each other during this lawn care season. So like I said, today we're going to be talking about pH and how it impacts your lawn. Um, so if you've ever wondered, you've been putting down fertilizer, you've been mowing, you've been doing everything right in your mind that you think your yard needs, but you just can't get over the hump. You just can't get it looking green, can't get it looking healthy. pH is probably where you're gonna to wanna to start. So the ideal range for your soil pH is gonna be between 5.8 and seven. Um, anything over seven, you're gonna have alkaline soil. Anything below 5.8, you're gonna have acidic soil. Both conditions will make it difficult for your grass to thrive. So some characteristics of acidic soil and alkaline soil, um, weedy lawns, brown lawns when everybody else's yard is green. Um, it's not always the pH, but a lot of times it is. Um, you'll see lots of weeds, like I said. Um, and you'll have spindly grass, light green, brownish grass. It's just ugly to look at, um, and it can be easily solved. So to figure out your pH, what you're gonna wanna do is a soil test. I'll link it up here in this corner um, to hit the soil test. Um, cheap online test you can hit your local county extension office but you want to get that soil test you want to determine what your pH is before you start to determine what products you need in order to correct it. so now you got your soil test back you've done it you got your results let's see where you're at let's say you have acidic soil what are you gonna do for acidic soil uh, for the DIY homeowner you're gonna use some product like a lime you're gonna find a liquid lime a granular lime or you can buy an easier product if you don't want to mess with it. Jonathan Green makes a product called Magical. Um, it's not going to be as potent as what you can get at your local uh, um, extension place or like Tractor Supply, Rule King, Lowe's. Most of them have lime products on hand. Um, also, you want to take it light with the stuff. Uh, research based on where your soil test is coming in. Um, if you have a small deficiency, uh, you want to get out of that acidic level into the normal pH. It's gonna be a marathon, not a sprint. Do it a little at a time. Don't over apply the stuff or you're just gonna have problems. So what happens if your soil test comes back and you have alkaline soil like I have? I'm gonna tell you what I found out this year, a product that's gonna move the needle a little quicker is elemental sulfur. You're gonna to wanna to find, um, I, don't believe, I don't know if they have it liquid, I found it granular. I couldn't find it local. I had to pay a fortune online to ship it. Um, but I got it here. I got me a 50 pound bag of elemental sulfur. Um, if you're not into that, you want to go the easier route, DIY style. Jonathan Green also makes a product called Magical for alkaline soils that lowers your pH. I can tell you, I rang in last year, 2021, at a 7.55 pH level. Right around in there, I applied two doses of Magical, a whole bag. Um, it was two applications last summer, and when I took the soil test this spring, I'm down to 7.06, so I'm moving in the right direction. It's just a little slower to get there. So I'm really interested to try this elemental sulfur and see how it works out. And what if you say, Justin, I did my soil test and my pH is perfect. Number one, I envy you. That's fantastic. Skip the rest of the steps. You wanna just make sure you're in the optimal range and you just wanna focus on getting your grass looking great because your pH is already set. And I will say, if you've done your soil test, pH is gonna be the primary product outside of your, or primary um, issue outside of your macronutrients, your nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium that you're gonna to wanna to focus on. You're gonna to wanna to try to get the pH moving in the right direction, whether that be up if you're acidic, down if you're alkaline, into that 5.8 to 7.0 range, uh, because everything you do from here on out the summer is going to rely on that pH to be successful. So upon doing some research, I found that you can put up to 10 pounds of elemental sulfur per thousand square feet of your lawn 
I don't want to go anywhere near that. Um, like I said, I did an application of Magical, um, the Jonathan Green Magical product, about a month ago now. Um, so I don't want to go too potent on this. I'm going to stick uh, with maybe two pounds per thousand with this sulfur. Um, we're going to dial it in. We're going to weigh it. I have a 7,500 square foot yard. So two pounds um, times 7.5, we're going to be right around 15 pounds of the 50 pound, 50 pound bag. And then in another month or a month and a half, maybe two months, I'll put down another application. Um, and then we'll do a soil test after that, kind of see where we're dialed in with everything else. But more importantly, I'm curious to see where this takes my pH um, and if it moves me in the right direction. I did go from 7.55 to 7.06 over a whole summer of Jonathan Green last year. So I'm guessing at a light rate of this elemental sulfur, um, putting it on light, and then maybe doing one or two apps, I should get down into the 6.5 um, range. That's, that's what I'm shooting for. So we're gonna weigh it out and we'll go from there. All right guys, so I got that application of sulfur laid down with my broadcast spreader. Put it down at two pounds per thousand square foot. So in combination with that magical, I'm really hoping that that 90% sulfur or that 90% elemental sulfur will really push me in the right direction and get me under seven and a pH as we enter the summer, um, which is gonna bode well for the overall health of my grass. So like I said um, throughout the video, the pH is gonna be your number one thing that you're gonna wanna correct. First off, um, after your soil test, um, if you're out of rat range, if you're acidic, you're gonna wanna bring it up. If you're alkaline, you're gonna wanna bring it down. You want to get right in that sweet range of 5.8 to 7 which they call neutral soil and it's going to bode you well in the summer for the overall health of your grass and the nutrient uptake and all the other goodies that's going to keep your turf healthy happy and lush and green so if you like this content please give me a thumbs up hit that subscribe button so you don't miss future updates i really appreciate you watching the channel we'll see you next time out in the yard